Uh, I recently just got a request to make a tutorial on Substance Alchemist. Um, if you're not familiar with this program, it's uh, it's basically take any picture and turn it into a game texture. And just the power of this program is is phenomenal, especially if you're making hyper realistic assets. Uh, if you want to make a CGI scene or V-Ray, this is the the program you're definitely going to want to use. Uh, I've noticed a lot of people rely on the pre-made materials in Substance Painter, so this kind of opens up your library a little bit more. And um, basically, everybody in the world has a phone, so you can take pictures of anything and, and turn it into a, an amazing texture or material game ready. So let's get started. Um, I'm making a rocky snow path, so let's go rocky snow, create, and um, so what I want to do, uh, you might have this default. It might just look like this. Um, to pan around, you want to hold Alt, and just left click, and you can just rotate it. Uh, we're not going to be working in 3D right now. What I want to do is come to the top right corner, uh, switch it to 3D and 2D. Actually, we can just do 2D right now. Uh, so click right here. And uh, that's your image. So I'm going to upload this image for you guys uh, so you can use it, kind of follow along. Uh, so you're going to be prompted with this uh, material creation template. What we want to do is use it as a bitmap right now because we do need to make this image tile. Uh, there's some issues with lighting that uh, could cause some issues for tiling. Um, you can see that it goes dark, dark, light, dark. It's all over the place, right? But we're going to fix that. Uh, yeah, so what you want to do is uh, be on the 2D screen, and you want to come down to Scan 1, okay? So this is our basic image in there. Uh, you could tell that it's not a perfectly squared image. It's a rectangle. It's just how my phone takes pictures. Uh, so what you want to do is come here and add a layer. So the first layer you're going to want to add is a crop layer. And the reason why you want to crop it is because, well, you want it to tile, right? Uh, so you can notice that Substance Alchemist is saying like, okay, hey, you got an image here. It's not going to tile right. Uh, we're going to try our best. And it stretches it really badly. So what you want to do is uh, just click T on the keyboard. And that will activate your tiling grid. Okay. And uh, you, you kind of just want to play around with this. And just kind of make sure it's not stretched. So I'm going to keep pulling this down. Uh... That seems about right. Yeah. Decent. Okay. So, you got your, your cropped here. And I want to make sure that... You want to set yourself up so the image tiles perfectly. Uh, so, there's this beautiful filter right here called the equalizer. And basically, what it'll do is it'll take a specific color and kind of fill it out through everywhere to give it more of an even... Um, an even tile. So uh, just in case you didn't see it, let's do this. Okay, so you can see it. Uh, there's a little bit of a seam here. Uh, I don't know if you could see it from there, but yeah, you can kind of really see it kind of hops over. There's a little bit of color difference. When the equalizer comes on, it kind of adds a, a little bit of a blend to it. You can, you can change it if you want. I want to make it just a little bit lighter. Uh, that might have been too light. Keep some darkness there. Okay, so that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Uh, now, come back to add a layer. Uh, I want to turn this into uh, a material right now. This way we can kind of play around with the heights. Um, and figure it out. Okay, so let's go back. I'm going to go to the top right corner, 3D and 2D. And there you go. So we got a pretty decent texture already. Uh, the displacement is really high. I want to change that. Uh, so on the 3D view, come to displacement and just uh, drop the amplitude down a bit to something more reasonable, something more realistic. Um, so if you're seeing that it looks kind of weird right now, it's because we don't have a tile on it yet. It looks like we tiled it, but we didn't tile it. So uh, bit, bit math to material. Then I want to come here and I want to put a tile filter on there. So watch the difference now. There we go. Uh, so it's still very stretched. Uh, the beauty of this is that now you can go back to crop. Uh, I want to just keep 
screwing around with this. It's um, there we go. Okay. I mean, it's it's mostly trial and error, guys. Uh, there's nothing really, not really a science to it. Uh, I mean, there is, of course, but um, just basic creation, like something like this, is 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 fine. Um, yeah, pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. So we got some seams there. Um, the tiling filter is actually very powerful. Um, there's this thing called edge the edge drop down menu, the edge detection. If you don't have this on, it's going to look uh, a little bit weird because there's a, a threshold slider here. And basically what this does is it blends the seams. Without that on, it's it's just doesn't look right. You can see it, me kind of shifting it around. You can play with it to see if you can hide it. But I mean, Alchemist does a great job already without really having to play with any of the dials. Um, just the standard drag and drop will work perfectly fine. Um, okay, so we're going to keep going. Uh, I don't think it's skewed at all. That should be okay. Uh, so next, what I want to add is... Um, let's add snow right now. Let's see how this works. So this filter is just super powerful. It's like right there. You have a game-ready texture right there. Just like that. Like, even if you just want to export this and then keep going, you have a snow texture. You have a tiling snow texture with some rocks. It's it's hyper-realistic. Um, so what I want to do is I want to start editing this snow because uh, that's just, we're not really going for that much snow. Um, so you come down here, click the snow filter, and uh, let's bring this down. I want to bring it down to maybe 0 0.20. Um, yeah. Might even might even pop it back up to 0 0.23. There we go. So get just get that top layer. I want to keep the curvature of the the rocks. Um. Yeah. Okay. So keep going here. That's pretty decent. Uh, the smoothness. I might wanna just 0 0.60. I know you don't see it, but it does. It does stuff. <laughs> Believe me. Uh. So add layer. We want to add some water now. So just the, the snow and the water, just that filter is just crazy. Like you can see the, the job that it did is just amazing, right? So holding shift and right click, I'm just kind of dragging to see the reflections. Um, I'm noticing that the displacement should be a little bit higher. So I want to maybe bring it up to 0.8. Uh, maybe even a little more. Let's do 0 0.12. That's decent. That's more something I, I'd like my game or whatever I'm using it for. So um, <clears throat> let's. Uh, I want to add some dirt. And uh, the reason why I want to add dirt is because um, I mean you can see the difference here. Let's let's get a nice angle here. Okay, so that's without the dirt on. With the dirt, it kind of adds a little bit more of a, you know, some character to the water. It's not just a flat, flat color. I mean, like, there's dirt on the rocks. Uh, some of that snow melted, went into the crevices. And, I mean, there has to be dirt there. Right? So, <clears throat> that's pretty decent. Um, I mean, a lot of people don't understand uh, blending materials in unreal engine i mean like this is something you could add off to the side but let's say you want to make a pathway and you want it less light so you can make two different textures you can drop this water level low right and then you could just export this as well it still tiles with your original texture and then you could just kind of paint the pathway where there's no water and kind of helps the player but uh let's get that back up there anyway uh that's a that's a separate tutorial another day uh i'm pretty happy with this uh i mean we could tweak it a little bit more let's uh i want to add uh we have gravel already i feel like adding more gravel will uh <clears throat> just kind of make it 
overpowered. Um, just pulling down. I, I mean, like you could see what they have here. It's it's just like pattern pattern generator. Oh my God, there's so much. This this program is sadly overlooked by a lot of people. Uh, I mean, I was one of them. I was paying for um, the full package, and I never used this program. So, I mean, you can do all kinds of stuff. Uh, let's add some corrosion. Let's see what the corrosion filter does. Uh, ooh, a little bit of an overkill there. Uh, let's pull this down. Oh, yeah. I don't like that filter at all. Not for this specifically, at least. Uh I mean, there's no corrosion that we need right now. So, actually, I'm pretty happy with this, guys. Uh, it's a, it's a decent-looking texture. Um, so, let's get on to the part where we can bring it over to Substance Painter. Uh, okay. So, uh, right side. Okay. You want to come to Export. And Export Q. Export Current View. And, um, I mean, you can change everything here. You can add whatever you like. Uh, this material is unsafe, so I want to add a uh, name, Snowy Rock. Rocks. Uh, you want to make sure that's an SBSR file. Uh, I mean, you could do Targas, PNGs, JPEGs, but I'm bringing this into Substance Painter. So what I want is uh, what I want is an S uh, B S A R. And just click that. Uh, I want to make sure that this is in the right folder. I don't even know what that is, so I'm just gonna put it on my desktop. Okay. Click export. It's working. So while that's happening, uh, if you have Substance Painter open, um, it's easier. So. Uh, let's just start off like this. Uh, go ahead, come down to the icon. If you don't have an icon, put the icon down. It's much easier. Uh, come here, right click on it, then right click on this, then properties, open file location. Uh, so what you want to do is go to resources. Nope. Oh, I opened up the wrong one. Sorry. Uh, I want to run Substance Painter. Okay, let's minimize this. Uh, so this is our material there. So I want to come to Substance Painter, and I want to right-click on it, then right-click on Substance Painter, Properties, Open File Location. There we go. Come up all the way to Resources here. Okay, let's minimize Substance for now. Resources, I want to go to Shelf. Algorithmic, I can't even pronounce that, so that's why I just call it Substance. Uh, I want to come to Materials, and I want to just throw this snowy rock in there. Continue. Okay, exit, exit, come back to Substance. Let's load up, uh, I don't even know, what do I have here? I have a gun I just made. Let's try, uh... Let's try this material on this gun. Um, so let's go. Let's just type in snow. There it is. So snowy rocks. Throw it on there. Looks so stupid. Uh, but if you wanted a rocky gun, a rocky wet gun, it's there. This is actually a terrible idea. Uh, let's go here. I should have a plane. Um, yep, yeah, there we go. No, I don't want to save and just throw it over. So there you go, guys. Uh, I mean, for uh, a 15 minute, a 15 minute workflow, you have a decent tile tiling texture, and I mean, sky's the limit. Um, I might do another tutorial on wood or even a metal. I mean, this is fantastic. Even just like, even looking at it this way, it just I mean, it's fantastic. Uh, some game engines will allow you to use a displacement map to pop it up. Uh, but that's it. So, yeah, if you uh, like this tutorial, uh, leave a like or a comment. Uh, let me know what you guys want. Uh, I'd be happy to try to help you guys make some other stuff. Um, not sure what this is.
Huh, interesting. Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, let me know and uh, take care.